Hello everyone, uh, I'll go over a game I played in round 4 of the Zagreb Championship. Uh, after 3 rounds which were less than ideal, I was uh, very stressed and thanks, thanks for the support in the comments once again. It means a lot when uh, you hear that uh, other people do the same mistakes as well and I'm going to, I'm going to try to apply your, your advice uh, when playing my next games. Uh, in this game I was playing an opponent uh, about uh, 150 rating points uh, higher rated than I am. He used to be much higher rated, about 2200 I think, but uh, he lost a lot of rating points in the last few years, last 10 years. And uh, when I was preparing for him, I saw that he often plays one H H4, uh, which uh, I think it's called the Kadas opening. And I really was looking for a system to prepare against that. Now, uh, he would play a lot of different things uh, and a lot of different setups, but usually he would play e3, d3 and a lot of pawn moves in the opening and I really wasn't sure how to exploit that and I was trying to uh, decide whether I was going to play e5 or d5 if he plays h4 and I went for e5. Now please do tell me in the comments below if you have ever faced pawn to h4 in a standard 90 plus 30 tournament game and tell me what you played. Uh, so after h4 I played e5 uh, he played h5. Uh, I'm going to turn the engine for this one immediately just so that uh, we can see the assessment. Uh, I haven't looked at the game with the engine yet because I'm really not sure what this opening is about. So I would like to know uh, what I did wrong uh, on every move. And the game is about 100 moves long, so uh, not to go. We have to go over to it uh, over it once again. So e5. Uh, okay, uh, this is only minus uh, 0 0.3. Okay, after h5 it's almost minus 1. So here I played d5, uh, he played e3, knight to c6, d3, uh, this is almost minus 1.5, and, and the engine wants me to play h6 here. Okay, I played bishop to e6, c3, queen to d7, bishop to e2, h6 now. Yeah, I, I mean, I really don't see a way to exploit his waste of 2 tempi and... The h4, the h5 pawn is actually a nuisance in my position, but he could have, of course, uh, used the time uh, to do something else, something better. So a3, uh, f5. I wanted to play knight to f6 after I played f5. d4, knight to f6. I don't have to take that pawn, of course, he can take, I can recapture with the knight. Knight h3, uh, that's his only square, good square. Uh, bishop d6, d5. Knight e5 is best. Okay, I took with the bishop. Knight to d2, rook to f8. And here I, I was trying to uh, to castle queenside and to pressure him along the f file. That was my main plan. And I was trying to set up sort of a reverse Morozzi bind uh, with here castling long and putting my king on b8. And actually it would be as if I have the white pieces against some weird opening, I don't know, with the Morozzi bind. Uh, and I was happy with my position here. He played knight to f3, uh, attacking my bishop, I have to save it, bishop d6, knight to d4, this I believe I had to take, but the engine says bishop to g8. Okay, I'm going to turn off the engine, I don't want to look at the evaluations. Uh, so knight takes d4, e takes d4, knight to e4, jumping in his position, here, of course, if he plays f3, uh, then he's, I believe, losing whatever I play. I can grab the exchange at least. Uh, bishop f4, uh, castles long. I mean, my position is better, but how do I prove that? Uh, I mean, it was really hard, even though I knew he was going to play pawn to h4 on one. Queen to c1, defending his bishop and preparing c4. Uh, rook d8. Now he has to do something about his king, castling isn't safe, of course, so he played king to f1. I played rook to f6 here because I wanted to push uh, g5 through, and if I'm Passan, then I can take, of course. Uh, so here, bishop d6, queen d6, knight f4, bishop f7. Now once again, if I play um, uh, if I play b5 and he takes Ampassan, I have two defenders, because he has two. Because he has the knight here, so I don't want to give up the exchange. Uh, so g3. Uh, 
knight to g5 now i was planning to play uh, knight to e6 evicting this knight and then pushing g5 and i was happy here because i thought i have an, a, an attacking plan and he really doesn't his rooks are out of the game and my king isn't threatened in any way he played king to g2 knight e6 uh, knight takes e6 and here i took with the f rook uh, i believe i should take with either the bishop or the e rook perhaps even the queen okay i'm going to turn on the engine for this it says queen takes e6 is best, rook e takes e6, uh, second best, bishop takes, and rook f takes is the worst move. Okay, that this is what I played. Okay, now white is actually better. But still, okay, he played bishop to f3, I played g5, finally pushing through my idea, h takes g6, uh, rook takes, uh, rook to h4, I played rook e to g8. And here I believe I'm worse because he has queen to f4 and I have to take. Queen takes, rook takes. And I actually definitely gave up my advantage because my attack doesn't really exist anymore and there isn't much I can do to penetrate to his king. Uh, so here I uh, managed to get out of this mess. I actually thought I was losing here. Perhaps I am. Uh, here I was considering rook to g5 or bishop to e6. This is where I spent about... I believe more than 30 minutes on this move uh, because I had to figure out what to do. I played bishop to e6, uh, rook h1, king d7, rook h5, uh, king to e7, and I'm trying to get my king to g7 and just be safe, defending all the pawns. King f1, c6, uh, king to e2, rook to f6. Of course, uh, if I move my king to f7 now, then he has g4, so I'm losing, so I have to be careful, rook f6 first. Uh, king to e3, king f7, rook h1, uh, bishop to c8. Now I I was trying to play b6, um, sorry, b6, bishop a6, trying to get my bishop out because his bishop is much better, of course, and uh, his rooks are better now as well. Uh, king to d2, king g7, uh, bishop to d1. Now I finally got what I wanted. Uh, rook e8, cutting his king off. Uh, bishop c2 and now uh, I'm just going to fast forward through a lot of moves because uh, he couldn't really make any progress I made a sort of a fortress and uh, he was trying to to penetrate my position for about 30 moves but he just couldn't do it yeah this is where I finally achieved rook to e4 trying to exchange a pair of rooks king to g5 and now the position gets blocked and nothing is really happening we are both trying to remaneuver uh, I, I wanted to offer a draw at some point here, but I knew that he wouldn't accept, so I didn't. Yeah, okay, this is where uh, the, my mistake happened. Uh, if I move my rook from the f file, which I did here, then he can always play uh, rook to h4, of course, and I don't have an immediate f4 dis dissolving my weakness. And here I played rook to b8, trying to get to b7, uh, to b2. Uh, to check king to c2 and now i should have just returned my rook to to f8 but after rook h4 rook f8 he now has f5 and uh, even though this is equal uh, i don't think he has he has any chances to win but still i shouldn't have allowed this here i have to i have to take the b file if he if he comes to b7 then i'm definitely losing uh, now i was trying to consider whether c5 works and after after c5, dc5, bishop a4 check, but then I saw king to d3 and this has to be losing whatever I play. Uh, because he <clears throat> he's going to take my d-pawn and my a-pawn isn't nearly as strong to justify that. So after bishop h5, I played king to uh, rook to g8, attacking the g3 pawn. He played rook to e3, rook to c8, now trying to push c5 uh, a bit in a bit uh, better position. King to d3, rook b8, uh, bishop d1. Now, once again, a lot of maneuvering, and uh, pretty soon I went horribly wrong. Okay, so now this is the beginning of my problems. You can see that uh, the, the bishop is pinning my king to the pawn, so g4 is always a possibility. And after king to d2, I should have just played something to, to, do, uh, to, to resolve that issue, uh, such as bishop to e6, at least just defending the pawn, so that's or, or h5 to make sure that I don't lose a pawn with check. Uh, but I actually played uh, rook to b8, which is unpinning his bishop, and this is just horrible. If I uh, if my rook had remained here after g4, I can play rook takes bishop and f takes g, and I actually have great winning chances with two connected passed pawns. My bishop isn't that bad. 
But after rook to b8, I allowed g4, and now I'm just losing. Now this is uh, completely losing, definitely. Here I played rook to b2 once again, and now I'm trying to, if he plays something such as king to c1, then I'm going to take. But he didn't give me that chance. He played g5, I played here. Now I had one trick. If he played uh, this check, then I was going to play here and be winning. Uh, because if he tries to defend, then I just exchange everything. Take, 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 play king to g6, grab this pawn, grab this pawn, queen my pawn, win the game. But of course, uh, he saw that. So after king to h7, he played king to c1, uh, rook to b7, trying to defend the seventh rank. But now how I managed to save this game is, I, it's it's a miracle. Uh, this was just completely winning. I will, I will show you where I think he went wrong. Just let me see. Okay. This is plus eight for, for white, so definitely winning. Uh, this is a mistake. Rook to h1 is a mistake because now I have h5. And after king to d2, I have king to g8, trying to get my king out. So now I'm not completely lost. Bishop e6, check. King to f8. Rook g1, bishop f7, I have to defend checkmate. Bishop f5, c5. And now I'm back in the game. Or, or, or I'm not completely losing. Uh, rook to b1. Now I have to play bishop to e8, defending the check in advance, bishop e6, cd4, now I'm threatening of course dc, cd4, rook to c6, f5, rook to c4, king to d3, rook to b4. And here uh, I was happy because I knew I had some drawing chances, rook b4, a b4, and he took on d5 here, and after I took on a4, I knew I was drawing, and this is just... This is just a draw. There is no way for him to win. And after a while, I managed to prove that I found this uh, pawn sacrifice, which allows me to get my king to f7. And after I take here, it's a draw. Uh, I just have to move my bishop around and that's it. Uh, yeah, uh, once again, not, not a very good game. But I have to say that after uh, that horrible rook blunder in round three, I managed to get in a much better state of mind. Uh, I started to enjoy my games. I was like, actually happy to play yesterday. And regardless of the result, uh, I would have been okay. Uh, yeah, uh, three more rounds to go. Uh, let's hope I can do better in the rest of the tournament. I managed to regain some of my rating points. Let's hope I can get some wins in and uh, get a plus rating. Okay, thanks very much for watching everybody and stay tuned for more chess. And once again, if you ever played against pawn to h4, please do let me know in the comments and see you later. Bye.